Hey everyone, um, so I'm back this week to finally film a video for this channel. Uh, thank you, Britt, for switching days with me. I really appreciate that. I was at a con, if you didn't know, if you didn't catch last week's video, and that's why I had to do it early. So thank you, Britt. I appreciate that. Um, the con was really fun. I, I wish it were still going. I wish it was like all week, seriously, or all month. I love conventions so much. Um, so yeah, yeah that, that introduction's out of the way. Uh, this week we are doing our current obsessions in anime, manga, uh, or whatever. Um, but the catch is you can only pick one mangaka or one, like, company or illustrator or something. Something that you're obsessing over. And I could go the easy route and obsess over Gundam. Because I have been watching Gundam, like, literally nonstop since I finished uh, Gundam Seed for the second time. Um, <clears throat> but that's too easy, and I just, I feel like that, that, that's a pretty broad topic to talk about Sunrise, because I could talk about anything that they've done. So I'm going to make it, or not broad, like, what's the right word? That's not the right word, I don't know. But I'm going to just pick a mangaka that I'm currently obsessing over right now, and she uh, is amazing, I love her. And that is Kanako Sakurakoji, who did Blackbird. Um, I just finished Volume 6 last night, and it is so good. It's so, so good, and I hope my mom doesn't come in, because she's outside. She's talking. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I love this series. Um, so I recently got, like, caught up to date with all the volumes at my convention. I bought them all, and, um, yeah, so Volume 7. So I'm going to talk about it. Um, let's see. Uh, so the volume that I last read, volume 6, was really, really good. Um, I love how the manga creator does, uh, twists. She is very good. She, she, this is what I, how I like to describe, uh, Kanako, her kind of style. So she'll set up the characters in this sort of cliche situation, but then she'll throw a twist to it and make it unique and make it awesome. Like, in Volume 6, I, I won't spoil anything, I'll try to be vague, so only Kyo chan will understand what I'm talking about, but um, the main character, Masao, is put into this kind of situation, this kind of dangerous situation with this one guy, this guy, right there, Sojo, is that his name? I forget his name, Kojo or something, I, God, I should know, because he's Sojo, that's him. Um, yeah, I got it right the first time. So he's just putting that kind of dangerous situation, and it's kind of like, a damsel in distress situation, but she has to get herself out of it, and I like that. I love how she does that in her manga, and yeah, Misao just really surprised me in this series. Um, I was expecting her to be kind of whiny and, you know, wait for Kyo to save her, but she didn't. She had to save herself, and I love that. Um, and then I love this even more. I love this character. Kyo is one of my favorites. I love him so much. Uh, he's just so sweet, and just awesome, awesome, awesome manga. I love it so much. And I can't wait to read more of it. Um, and I just, I'm so excited that I have all of them now. Uh, the 14th volume comes out on June 6th. So, like, six days, or no, five days, actually. So that's awesome. Um, and I'm just excited. And the 15th volume already has a cover, which is also really cool about this series. Their covers are released, like, months beforehand, and it's just awesome. So, yeah, I love this series. I love that about Kanako and her work. I really want to read Backstage Prince. Uh, that's another series that she wrote. It's only two volumes long, though, but I'm still kind of excited about it. It has a cat in it, so I think that's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, this is just a really, really great series. If you like Dark Shoujo, this is definitely my favorite. Um, it has a lot of twists and turns and lots of sexy scenes, and that's really, really nice. Um, Kyo take his, takes his shirt off a lot, and that's really wonderful. Anyway, so that is my current obsession right now. I need to read more of it. I'm going to read more tonight and such, and I'm just excited. I can't wait to read more of this series. It's so good. If you haven't checked it out yet, you really, really should. It gets a lot better later on. There's a lot of good twists and good villains and just awesome awesomeness. I love it so much. So that's my current obsession. Uh, so yeah, let me know what your current obsession is, anime or manga, 
And, uh, yeah, I'll check it out, maybe. Maybe get me into something new. That would be kind of cool. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next Thursday. And I have no idea who's tomorrow. I should know. I think it's Anime Lover. I'm pretty sure. So, Anime Lover, we will hopefully see you tomorrow.